crashed. Oh. Uh, we're seeing this now for the first time. Let's, let's take a look. Try to, uh, to to re rack that just to, to, to take another look. It's obviously very far in the distance from where this video uh, was. You don't actually, as far as we can see. It, it does seem uh, that it came down relatively in, a, in one area, or at least the, the biggest part of it can't seem to have come down in one area. Well, judging from the, the amount of flames that we saw at the point of impact, uh, there was that was a large chunk, probably, mm. and that, that obviously is fuel going up when you get that color smoke. And, I mean, one's tempted to want to pause for a moment just to realize the enormity and gravity of what we're looking at um in this the plane will have been virtually fully fueled for the amsterdam to mm. kuala lumpur flight uh the missile or whatever hit it clearly didn't destroy it in mid-air that was sufficient for the tanks to have hit the ground uh, and do jump in so when if, if there's something more that you, you can add um for the tanks to have exploded upon the ground but what we're looking at there is yeah. And again, the question now, and, and we've heard uh, our Nick Pitten Walsh reporting concerns from Ukrainian officials about their ability to actually get to the crash site.